Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ash here, and as you are seeing on the screen right now, Clash Royale tweeted out a few hours ago just a little something we're working on, and that's right, it is tournaments inside the game. Now, unfortunately, I can't share any of the details. I was able to take a look at some of the plans they have for these tournaments behind the scenes, but unfortunately, right now, we're not able to share any of that information. However, I can tell you that I am really, really excited about this because... Let's just be totally honest. The game is feeling a little bit, uh, I don't know if stale is the right word because it's still a fun game. It's the same as it was and it's still in its infancy. I mean, just because it's Supercell doesn't mean that the game's not only three or four months old. And if you think back to where Clash of Clans was when it was only three or four months old, I mean, there was no Town Hall 10, there was no Dark Elixir, there was no Clan Wars, certainly. There wasn't a lot of stuff. So you have to understand that they have have a lot of plans for Clash Royale. We get a chance to take a look at a lot of them, but things change too. It's not always the finished product, what we're looking at. Uh, so I just want to let you guys know that there are some exciting uh, new things coming to the game. These tournaments are really the first of hopefully what will be many types of new elements to the game. Because right now, you can only really trophy push, right? So trophy pushing kind of gets lame after a while because you can only go so far given what level level your cards are, right? So even if you're a level 7 and you're one of the best players in the world, there's no way you're going to get to the top 200 in the global or even your local, right? So at a point, it's just, you know, it gets to be a point where you just have to spend more money to do better in the standings and that's really all you can do. So you play a few matches every day, you have a little bit of fun, you win some, you lose some, and then it's pretty much done. So I think tournaments will really offer a new outlet for people to be able to enjoy Enjoy the game been really wanting something like this for a long time now and thankfully it should be just around the corner in the next update for with, uh, with Clash Royale so with that said, I wanted to take a look at this new OP deck. That's what uh, Clark Kent's calling it. And he's playing the Witch, he's playing the Furnace, and he's playing the Miner all in the same deck along with the Giant providing that nice meat shield of hit points. And man, he's been smoking everybody in our friendly battles. I almost call them challenges. But it's a really simple deck, uh, albeit it does have uh, two legendary cards, the Miner and the Princess. But otherwise, it has the Witch, it has has the new and improved Witch, the new and improved Furnace, and then just a lot of defensive flexibility. You can see HBG, who's a really good player in his own rights, wasn't even able to touch one of his one of his towers in that replay. I'll go ahead and show you another one, this time against Phil. I think Phil was experimenting with a uh, Siege deck here, well, at least an Expo deck, and, uh, you know, it, it didn't go too well for poor Phil, right? So, Clark Kent's gonna go ahead and start off with a Miner right off the bat here. Uh, Phil's gonna try to get down his Expo in that right-hand lane, but uh, Clark was ready with the giant and the princess combo even against those guards the uh, the giant was able to occupy those guards long enough where he was still able to get a shot or two off on that right tower with a princess and again here no one's even touching Clark Kent's towers at this point the furnace is such a strong defensive and offensive weapon now fire spirits such a strong and like I said underrated card in the game I felt for a long time and now with the furnace being this viable that it lasts this long on the uh, the playing field now it's been moved to 50 seconds now from 40 seconds which might not seem like a ton but those extra 10 seconds really do matter a lot I mean, think about it. Now three furnaces will almost get you through an entire three-minute match at 50 seconds each. You only really need one per minute, and they do a heck of a lot of damage. And especially on offense, if you can get some fire spirits behind your push, they do a, they do a great job at giving that splash damage to counter your opponent's counter. And here you can see, again, Clark Kent pulls off a three-crown victory this time, actually, and it's another win with that deck. So, guys, I'm curious to hear your thoughts about the new tournament feature. We don't have a lot of the details yet, but I can tell you that it looks really good. It should offer a lot of fun and a new aspect of the game to explore and enjoy beyond just trophy pushing. So guys, thanks for watching this short video. Should have another video coming out soon, guys. Thanks so much. And as always, take care, guys.